This conference will now be recorded. So let us understand how we can create a maintenance order through Fury apps. Okay. So if you are creating maintenance order through GUI, the transaction code is IW31. And you can change the maintenance order through IW32. And you can display the maintenance order through IW33. So if you are going to SAP GUI, let me just show you here how you can check the path to, to see the details of this transaction. This is your GUI login. Okay, you need to come here in SAP menu. Okay, so with an SAP menu, you need to come here in logistics, come to here, plant maintenance, and within plant maintenance, you will see all these folders, AIN management of technical object, maintenance processing, preventive maintenance, information system and work clearance management. So within maintenance processing, you will see order here. Okay, so you can see all these transactions. But if you are going through Fury apps, you just need to come here and here you will see the different tiles. If to create a maintenance order, you just need to click here on create maintenance order. So this is the initial input screen where you need to select the order type. Okay, so in a standard system, the order type uh, here, the maintenance order, PM01, PM02, PM03, PM05, and PM06. These are the standard order type which you will see in system. Okay, so based on the order type, we are going to select all default values at the time of creation of order okay so this is the main profile which is controlling all the functionality of order okay maximum functionality it is being controlled through order type only okay so let me just create one maintenance order i'm selecting pm01 okay and uh, you need to enter the priority here so priority in a standard system it is given very high high medium low based on the priority the system will schedule will keep the start date and end date okay this can adjust the start date and end date of uh, maintenance order okay technical object here you need to select the function location or equipment okay so for which you are going to create this maintenance order and uh, you need to enter the planning plant where the planning will be executed means like when in which plant exactly your maintenance planning will be planned okay. and the business area need to be selected so i'm just selecting here a standard plant here and a standard business area okay and uh, priority and other things i'll just enter for inside of the maintenance order so go to continue here you need to enter the long text so let's see maintenance Okay. And here you can enter the same description or here in long text, you can keep some detailed description of your maintenance issue. Okay, and, and select the priority. Let's say I'm selecting its high priority. Uh, fill in the required field system is giving me this error. Okay, so just let me select the work center. Here in this work center plant, Triple zero one. Let me find if I can see any work center. Okay, so here I'm selecting INC for example, and then I'm selecting planner group. So triple zero one planning group, planner group. So all the standard master data I'm just selecting. Go to technical object. So here I need to select whether function location or equipment. So let me select this equipment or this. Okay. So, maintenance plant 1710 and plant planning plant 001 and different controlling area so because i have selected this technical object from different maintenance plant so that's why i'm facing this issue let me just select some other object here One
<clears throat> Let me see if I can find anything in triple zero one. One sec. 